as always, this is part of a series. There will be a new video every Friday for many weeks or months to come. There should be an annotation on the screen for the full playlist. If you get to a part in the playlist where there is uh, a video that is marked private, it's because it hasn't been published yet. Wait a week and a new video will be posted. Now. We have been working, and I also recommend watching previous videos because we're working off scripts we've created previously. This is where we left off. I've copied this script into a new script called cubecolor.html, and we are going to use a different type of material, uh, and we're going to look at some of the options for it. So let's go to our folder here, and we'll vim into cubecolor.html. Now, right down here in our code, we have our cube with its geometry, and we're seeing that we are giving it the material of new uh, a new uh, 3 from 3JS mesh normal material. Let's change that. Instead of mesh normal material, we will change it to say mesh basic material. And within that well let's just do that uh, and see what the default settings are nothing doesn't work you have to give it some options uh, we are going to give it curly braces and then close the curly braces and you're gonna pass information in a JSON style format uh, so one of those options will be color so we're gonna say color and then we're going to say colon and inside quotations we'll say red we'll save that come here refresh and there we have a basic material now it has no shading to it in this particular setup so that's why you can't see certain edges but if we go to the documentation uh, for uh, 3js 3js.org and we click on documentation we come down here and we can see that mesh normal material here and we can see all the options all the parameters we can pass it um, I'm sorry mesh basic material is what we're working with uh, mesh basic material normal materials what we're doing before you can see if we went back to the normal material you see it has you know four options here four properties but basic material has uh, quite a few more um, things such as combined uh, reflectivity uh, these are to do under the documentation here but skinning environment mapping specular mapping light mapping fog and I personally haven't really messed with too many of these uh, and there are other types of materials we're gonna get into in future weeks um, but here let's start off at the top we gave it a color and uh, we gave it the actual words you can also give it um, you know some hex code to give it a more specific color but you can also use words like we did where we gave it red or we can come in here and we can say blue and it's blue or we can probably say green and it's green or we can probably say I think this will work light blue and we get a lighter color blue so those are you know some options you can use or of course you can always pass it the code like that now other options is it a wireframe and also in this documentation if you hover over what uh, the properties are it tells you what type of inputs they can take like this one it's going to take an integer of some sort here oh you can also pass it um, RGB I believe we'll get into that in future but wireframe blue name, so true or false for that uh, and then you can say wireframe line width uh, and in the default here it will t usually tell you if there's a default default for wireframe here is false that's why we don't see a wireframe we haven't set a wireframe yes or no so it defaults to uh, false here it says um, uh, wireframe line width default is one so let's go ahead and we'll say wireframe so we're going to come in here we're going to put a comma because there's another option and just to keep things looking nice we'll put it on the next line we'll say wireframe colon and we will say true we'll save that come here refresh and now you can see it's a wireframe it's a very light color 
Also, very thin lines. Also, I've noticed in wireframe mode, you can see the cube rotating, but sometimes when you look at it, it starts, yeah, I just did it. It looks like it's rotating a different way, and that's just your eyes playing a trick on you there, um, if you ever notice that. Uh, so let's make it the wireframe line width a little thicker. Default is one, you could make it thinner. You could give it a decimal point if you'd like. Um, pretty thin already, but comma because we're adding a new line, line width, colon. And if one is default, let's give two a try. Save that, refresh this, and you can see it's a little thicker. Let's go a bit higher, and we will say 20. And now we have very thick lines, and we can go even thicker. Let's go 200. I don't, I don't know if there's a max to this. Looks like 200 doesn't look any bigger than, than 20 did. Let's go 10. Looks like same as 20, 10 might be the max. I'm not really sure. Does it say in the documentation here? Uh, due to limitations in angular layer, Windows platform line will always be one regardless of value set. Okay, that's in Windows, but it doesn't say what the max value is. Oh, it's, okay. Um, so let's see. That's one. I'm just kind of experimenting now. This is how you learn. There's five. And there, oops. There's ten. Looks like ten might be the max. Um, I'd have to look. It's not saying directly in this documentation uh, regarding that. Uh, but regardless, um, Again, I'm going to put this code up on my website. There should be a link in the description of the video that will link to all the codes in these in this series. Uh, you can go there, view them, download them, modify the numbers, play with them. Um, and uh, again, there's a lot of options here. We'll get into some of these in the future. Um, but definitely, uh, you know, play with that. Uh, and again, uh, we just kind of looked at going before we had normal material now we're using mesh basic material and we gave it some properties here so I hope you found this useful and I hope that uh, you check out this code online look at the description of this video also in the description you'll see a link to my website filmsbychris.com that's Chris with a K um, and I hope that you continue watching this series I hope you're enjoying the series if you do like these videos be sure if you like this topic be sure to give the videos a thumbs up, a like, so that I know. Feel free to share them with other people. That helps, too. Um, but uh, I'm enjoying. I love playing around with 3D stuff. Uh, with this HTML5, I'm getting more in-depth with the programming side of it rather than just the modeling and designing like in Blender. Uh, so I'm enjoying this a lot. Again, in the future, we'll get into things like importing models from that you've exported from blender or scenes from blender we'll get into like first person shooter style looking around i mean this is way down the line but uh 3js makes all this sort of thing simple there's codes for all the basic functionality there so again visit my website filmsidechris.com that's chris with the k check out the link in the description and i hope that you have a great day